Hello, bonjour and guten tag. My name is Dane from Dane Reads. That was a very slightly different introduction, I guess. And this is the reread book tag. So, um, I saw this. Who was it that did it? Sc Scally Dan. Oh, I can't even say the name. Scally Dandling about the books created this. I also saw Mark Nash's take on this, and Al from Big Hard Books and Classics also did this, and I think he tagged me in it as well. Links to all of those below. So, uh, book tag about rereading. There are nine questions which I'm going to go through, and then I'm going to tag some people at the end. So, question one. Let's assume you do reread if you're doing this tag. So where do you sit on the rereading scale from almost never to all the time? I'm not far off almost never. I used to reread quite a lot. Uh, over the last few years, I've roughly averaged a book a month of rereads um, only via audiobook, which I'm guessing will kind of be one of the later questions. Basically, when I reread these days, it's only via audiobook. Um, and I never listen to audiobooks for my first read of a book as well. For whatever reason, you know, it's just what works for me. So, um, because of rereadathon on BookTube with a different prompt each month, uh, I think Alex Black is still organising that. Um, after Catalyst Read started it back in the day. So I've been, ever since that kind of came out, I've been doing a, a book a month of, as a reread. But when I was a kid, I used to reread all the time because we didn't have much money. Um, so I'd either go to the library, but even then there was only like a limited selection really, or I'd just reread the books that I had over and over again. Question two, has that changed over your reading life? Definitely. So as I say, at the moment, I'm kind of, well, especially with things like charity shops, I'm just lucky enough to be able to get as many books as I want and not really to worry about it. Um, sure, like, new releases and obviously indie books are quite expensive, but if you're reading a lot of the sort of older releases, like your Agatha Christie's or Stephen King's back catalogue or whatever, you can pick things up used quite cheaply, and so, um, so that just means that it's easier for me to constantly read new stuff, in which case there's less of a need for me to do rereads, you know? Question number three, when do you reread? Maybe immediately after finishing a book, or not till years later, or when the mood strikes. Um, so, well I guess for rereadathon there have been prompts, so I've picked out things specifically that I've wanted to reread that have matched those prompts, but also occasionally I'll think, oh yeah, I really fancy rereading re so and so. And so again, I'll just try and find an audiobook of it. So I might actually be rereading, um, uh, Different Seasons by Stephen King. Yeah, Different, yeah, yeah, Different Seasons, yeah, because I've already read, um, reread Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. So there's only like the three other stories in that collection. If I reread those via audio as well, then I've reread the whole book. So I might, might as well just finish it off, you know? Question number four, why do you reread books? I think for the same reason people rewatch movies, you know? Um, if it's a good book, I think I can still enjoy it just as much on a second and a third read. Plus I have this thing where like, I, d I don't think there's any such thing as like a, an objectively good or bad book because here's the thing, I think every reading experience you've got the uh, you've got the objective thing of the book itself and the text of the book but then there are so many subjective factors as well like every reader will experience every book differently but equally they'll all experience every book differently depending upon when they read it so if I read a book when I'm 15 I'm gonna have a different reaction to if I first read the same book when I was 25 all of my life experiences go into that even the edition I'm reading, if it's got tiny print, is going to be a little bit less enjoyable. Uh, so, you know, there are so many different factors that go into it that I think any given reading experience is a mixture of the subjective factors that come from the reader and then just the objective nature of, like, the core text or whatever. Um, and even then the core text can change because you can have different editions of books. So, yeah. And apparently that's kind of quite tied in with post postmodern thinking. Anyway, Biggie, what are you doing? Oi, don't sit on the keyboard, don't sit on the keyboard. Question number five, how do you reread? Faster, slower, just the best bits? I just reread uh, unabridged audiobooks, occasionally at a higher speed, depending upon the narrator, um, because most narrators deliberately read slowly to make it more accessible as well, so I, I do generally find like a 1.25 times speed makes it sound like normal speed to me so then i'd go up to maybe two times speed depending upon the book and the narrator you know question number six who or what do you reread more specifically which authors or genres or individual books again a bit of everything really um when i was younger it used to be entirely based upon accessibility so just which books i had i would reread those these days it's more that 
I'll want to reread a specific book for a specific reason. Um, so, for example, when I reread um, I Robot, it was it was just because I'd been talking to somebody about it on BookTube. In fact, I did that with what did I reread recently? I can't even remember now. But somebody talked about something on BookTube, and and, uh, and I was like, oh, I should reread that. And so then I went away and did it. You know. Question number seven, is there a book that you found better when you reread it? Yes, uh, Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. So this was, used to be my most hated book and actually the reason I picked this up was for the rereadathon prompt where it was like reread a book that you hated. So that's why I picked it up. Um, but I think the re again this comes back to the, the subjective uh, nature of when you pick up and read a book. So. I first picked it up because I had to read of my London and Literature course at university and we had a different book each week and a lot of the other books I flew through, like one of them was um, The Sign of the Four by um, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and that was the first Sherlock Holmes book I ever read and read the whole thing in a day, you know, and just, I think just the nature of um, Mrs. Dalloway. It's a book that you need to read slowly and savour. You can't just try and power through it as quickly as possible so that you can then talk about it in a lecture, you know? So when I did reread it, my rating of it went from one out of five to like three out of five. I'm still not the biggest fan of it, but I definitely appreciate it a lot more and see what, she, what Virginia Woolf was trying to do. And actually that's now led to me giving Virginia Woolf more of a chance, you know? Question number eight, uh, and one that was worse. Possibly The Sign of the Four by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. A few of the Sherlock Holmes books weren't as good as I remembered them being, um, especially because there were a few more like, I guess 2010 when I was at university wasn't as woke as 2018 or 2019 or whenever I reread them. So I just felt a bit more uncomfortable with like, you know, having a little African pygmy guy running around with a blowpipe. Question number nine, which one book have you reread most times? This would probably be something from my childhood, so maybe like The Idiot Book by Ian Walsh. Um, but also, I've re there are a few that stand out. I've reread certain Discworld books like six, seven times. The Catcher in the Rye quite a few times. To Kill a Mockingbird probably six or seven times. Oh, uh, Harry Potter, the entire series at least four or five times. Lord of the Rings three or four times. Uh, Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials trilogy probably actually that probably is the one that I've read reread the most it's always what I cite as my favorite book um, and yeah probably about once a year I reread that via audio so there we have it that is the reread book tag so now I'm gonna go in and have a look at a few people who've recently commented on my videos because that's how I then go in and decide who to tag so if you were a recent commenter you may be lucky I don't know if you reread by the way if you're on this list but hey hey ho okay I'm gonna tag I ain't finna read that uh, Native Lady Book Warrior, of course. Mindy's Book Journey, Rajathon. Um, Jason's Weird Reads. Spinelli Speaks, and one more. Uh, let's do Charles Heathcote. I'll be interested to know know his ones. Okay, the thunder's really kicking off now. So there we have it, that's my take on the reread book tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this video, if you enjoyed it, etc, etc. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.